public speaking skills. Now giving his third speech entitled Double Your Happiness by Doing This, please welcome Vince Burke. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. The way to double your happiness, in its essence, can be described in a single word. The word is overlook. If you will learn how to overlook in the way that I'm about to describe, I believe that it will change your life forever. At first glance, you might think, you just can't overlook everything that happens to you in life. And that's true. While it is best to simply overlook it, when somebody cuts you off while you're driving or your child spills their milk, there are some problems in life that you need to respond in some fashion. And it is on these occasions that you would do well to overlook the temptation to judge someone. The way you judge someone after they hurt you will determine how easily you resolve the problem that was created. Often we like to Often we're tempted to lash back at people who hurt us. But today we're going to learn the benefits of giving grace to people who cause us grief. The way I learned this was about four years ago, I was a member of a club, and one of the club members did something that was out and out wrong. So I began to alert the other club members about what this person did. And in the process, I got myself all bent out of shape over of what this person did. And so, but then, one day I woke up and I realized that even though it was this person that made the mistake, I was the one who was paying for it with my upset emotions. And so that day I made a vow that never again would I get upset over somebody else's mistakes. I also realized that I too am capable of making mistakes, so how could I um, pass judgment on someone who also makes mistakes? I can. It's only by grace that I know what I know. The truth is, the person who hurt me could easily have been me. So for these reasons, I no longer pass judgment on people who hurt me. something that you thought was wrong and you uh, you pass judgment on the person and so so you judge the action but you went too far to judge the person a good analogy is this think of the person who hurt you as a spider and think of the hurtful act as a spider's web the person committed the hurtful act the spinning of the web and then draws you into the web the moment you pass judgment on them. Dale Carnegie, in his best-selling book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, sums up the first chapter of these words, never criticize, condemn, or complain. He says that because most people will never admit that they've done wrong, no matter how much, how hard you try to convince them otherwise. So if it does no good to criticize a person to their face, and it does no good for your mood to criticize a person in your heart, then why judge them? It's, it's a waste of mental energy. And life's too short. Are you going to spend one minute um, fretting over something that's already happened? The proper thing to do is to ask yourself, okay, the deed is done, how do I best respond to it? So it is at this point, though, that you need your peace of mind. Because any anger associated with the incident is going to cloud your judgment as to how best to respond to the problem. So you first need your peace of mind. Now assess what your options are. And if you're not sure, then go ask for help. You can save yourself a lot of heartache when you respond to a problem correctly the first time. The other thing you can do to help yourself respond well to life's problems is by saturating yourself with positive stimuli. Do you know that what's in you in abundance will come out of you when life squeezes you? If all you do is fill yourself with TV and movies, then that's how you're going to respond to life when life gets hard. But if you saturate yourself with, with uh, material that promotes personal development, 
personal peace, personal happiness, then that's how you're going to respond when life squeezes you with its problems. What I want for my life is that when life squeezes me, when people do things to me that might otherwise upset me, I want there to be a steady flow of grace, an abundance of grace. No anger, just grace for their sake and for mine. Finally, do you know that your, your heart was never meant to be pulled down by the problems of life? In fact, anger toward yourself and others can lead to a premature death. Doctors tell us that 80% of the people in the hospital are there because of some anxiety-based illness. But just like the flat stones that we like to toss upon the, the lake and, upon the, and watch those stones skip upon the surface of the water, that's how our lives can be. Really skipping upon the challenges of life and not pulled down by them. Does this way of life sound attractive? It can be yours. For the petty problems of life, just overlook them. For the more serious problems of life, purpose to overlook the temptation to pass judgment. By doing that, you will be creating happiness for yourself and others. So I encourage you today to overlook the temptation 